But going to Belize, I was going to, you know, go there with her at the time, right? Okay. But I went back to the U.S. and COVID hit and uh, the world shut down and she was in the Middle East because that's where we met. We were, we were working in the Middle East mm -hmm. and... You're not going anywhere. We <laughs> couldn't go nowhere and the relationship was too new. Mm -hmm. um, we've been together for two years. That's still new. And it's just so hard. Long distance is like nearly impossible, you know, mm -hmm. especially like um, from that culture and from any, it's hard for any culture, but it's even harder for like these more traditional, really? more traditional, old fashioned, you know, small, small type cultures, you know, small, like small town type culture versus big city, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that was, that was tough, but that was, you know, um, well, anyways, what ended up happening is learning all of this information now and having a good grasp on on how to prepare myself. And I think that's what we could do best, you know, is just prepare and learn, you know, and yeah. I'm grateful. Like, I mean, if I would have had kids when I was 21, even though that might be ideal, I, I, I don't know if I'd be prepared enough to because of how our culture and society set us. I don't know if I was in the right mind frame to really actually um, take care of a kid at that time. But now, you know, you know, it's, yeah. I feel better prepared. You never know. There's no, you never know when, until you, until it happens. Right. However, I do think that we can learn from people mm -hmm. like you and people like I have another podcast of what is a healthy relationship. Another example, like similar from you, 39, 34 years, you know, learning from, experienced people that are doing it that have been through it is very very valuable like i wouldn't go i wouldn't try to learn a business from someone that's never ran a business or i wouldn't check them go to my doctor and say can you fix my car if he doesn't know anything about being a mechanic right yep. i believe it's similar like you have this experience and it's very valuable to learn from you and others that have experiences you know like that to learn from them well i think uh one of the things that if if you I, I don't like to live in regret, but it's a real thing. And it was always for me more than Diana. We don't have enough money. We, you know, we both come from divorced parents. Um, so I want to be sure. I want to. I want to make sure I don't really have my career set up. Uh, we don't have a lot of money in savings. You need ten thousand dollars for the first year of a kid. You know, all this kind of stuff. And you procrastinate until for us it was very 